what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back once again and i'm trying to remember every time to tell you guys to hit the like button make sure you hit the like button all right last two episodes we watched okay very good episodes and as i've described it in the review um two my favorite episodes so far of the season of the series is those two episodes hands down because they captured everything they needed to, to capture the story was told in a very comprehensive way and I, it really pulled me in it's the first time i felt immersed in this anime like i was part of it you get what i'm saying and i love when shows do that no matter if i'm watching anime or a tv show i love when shows do that for me because it makes me feel like i'm a part of what i'm watching and also i'm i feel like i'm involved like you know i was in the gym while that was going down just experiencing what was going down um in those epic moments you know and and very telling moments about who's who and what's what you know what i'm saying and now we are in the mystery of finding out who the hell mitsui really is finding out he was a part of the basketball team so what really happened why did he turn to gang life you know what i'm saying why is he just going around trying to beat people up why is he beating up the, the that first year i don't remember his name uh, we'll get to the names <laughs> you know when we get used to the names we get used to the names anyways guys we're gonna jump in and as always man as i said before hit that like button before you go watch watch the <laughs> the actual show because you might not remember when you come back i'm gonna remind you one more time before you leave in the review but it's good if you do it now hit that like button so we can get more people watching these reactions man i appreciate you guys as always and i will catch you guys for the review all right 26 27 in the books you guys have been awesome let's talk about it mitsui um the first time in a long time i called something like that and and a lot of times you you see certain things or what certain things can lead up to and i like to make those predictions and as i said you know i've been right one or two times but not all the times about stuff that i predict but that's just based on you know my experience in real life a lot of times um that i'll make predictions and be right because of just how else are you going to play that out according to how the story is going and what you're trying to portray like there's there's other ways that it could have been done but the tone and certain things about this anime just kind of tells me where that was going and i figured it was going to be that so i was right on the money about his you know him having a fragile ego and that's because when you're when you're being gassed up all the time, you know what I'm saying, about your talent. Cause I went through this personal. I went through this personally. You're talking you're talking about um for me, I was a straight A student doing very well in school. Um, you know, could have been in college at a very, very young age. You're talking about like I could have been in college when I was like 12, 13 years old. Right? So it was you know because school just wasn't challenging for me so there's certain things that happened that i don't want to get into all of that but things happen um you know everybody's telling you oh your kid is so you know telling parents you're hearing people telling your parents that your kid is super smart and all this other stuff but then when challenge comes along you really don't know how to handle it especially when it comes on to life circumstances because um that's why i constantly like before my nephew went off to college i would tell him i said listen life is not always gonna be like this because he's you know he, he, he's like a um my sister's oldest son right he's like a he's like a carbon copy of me in certain ways even though he's going on a different path and he's getting to go to college and all this other stuff um yeah you know i'm saying like he's a 
literally kind of like a carbon copy of myself like he looks like me he you know what i'm saying it's you know it's crazy eerie sometimes how much of a you know what i'm saying like alike we are so i would tell him i said listen you got to know how to handle challenge if you don't know how to handle challenge you know what i'm saying you just it's all about pushing through through it and realizing that you know things are not always going to be hunky dory and a bed of roses so you just got to be prepared for it because if it hits you and you're not prepared for it you're not going to know how to handle it and that's what happened to me i didn't know how to handle it so when life hit me in the face i just made terrible terrible decisions to try to get out of it you know what i'm saying so having a, a fragile ego as in people always boosting you up see when the real challenge come akagi is that challenge for mitsui you know what i'm saying where it's like oh i thought i was the shit but i'm really not the shit you know what i'm saying so um for me the challenge for me was just life itself you know what i'm saying like when certain things hit me in life i didn't know how to handle it i couldn't count on anybody to really steer me in the right way because it's the stereotypical things you're hearing and then when you try that it doesn't work so now you know i i took my own path and yes challenges were still there but i was able to handle it a little bit better until i got older now i can handle it much much better so for him you know what i'm saying hakagi was that was that roadblock for him and he did not know how to handle it he rushed back after the injury re-aggravated his injury and then he just gave up because he basically saw the game and was like ah oh, they don't need me which is so far from the truth more help is always good in any situation more help is always good so i never you know what i'm saying for him i do understand what he went through but at the same time he has a he had a very fragile ego that needed to be not necessarily needed and the reason why that fragile ego came into place was because him being gassed up all the damn time and people telling him how good he is and him him now believing that and even treating his teammates like they're just some minions you know what i'm saying and yes when we win but you're always like at the forefront of everything and then when that gets shattered when they start to pay attention to other people now on your very own team you become jealous and you and you become envious and all of this other stuff and now you start to resent whether your teammates are akagi that's gonna lead you down a road you just don't want to go so very very good episodes man four episodes my favorite string of episodes that i've reacted to so far in the series for sure for sure i'm so glad that i was able to see these at this time because as i said i like to watch animes that is teaching you something and these four episodes was the first time in slam dunk that i felt like this is something that i can really expound upon and talk about and it doesn't always have to be this way you know there are going to be animes that i watch on the channel they're super action-packed like say a one punch man it's not too deep but you know more lore based more than anything else but i like but you guys hype this up as the greatest sports anime of all time some people even consider it to be better than ippo um i've still yet to see that because i still there's still so much more because i'm not finished with ippo but so much that i learned from those from the anime alone not to mention you know the things that we've been learning in the manga so far you know it's just life lessons man i love when whatever medium that you're taking in is actually educating you and and and, and teaching you something other than just what you're seeing on screen you get what i'm saying you take for instance naruto's pain arc where you heard pain make that speech about the cycle of hatred and you and you're like oh that's some real shit right there right so it's just for me it's just like i love when animes do that because it teaches you something and you know and you don't just walk away just being entertained you learn something that you can take with you for the rest of your life and if you're going to spend time 
if, and, and, and I tell people this all the time. It's not always that, you know, not all, not all entertainment got to be educational, right? Not all of it, but I think most of it should be educational because you're spending time. You take time away to sit down and watch these anime and if i'm going to do this as a reaction base and doing so many shows and doing this it better be teaching me something at least most of the time it better be <laughs> is all i'm trying to say i'm not one of those people that you know i'm i'm a homebody i like to be at home you know what i'm saying i like to enjoy myself so at least because i like doing that i want to be learning something you know um i don't like to read but i read to be educated I read to have a better understanding of things, even have a better perspective on things or a different perspective on things. So, um, appreciate you guys for sticking around. Hopefully, you guys enjoy those reactions. Man, I'm glad that Mitsui is now on the team. Now they have, you know, now they have Mitsui. They got Rukawa. They got Akagi. They got Hanamichi. They got some good players and a team. Um, that's basically could be your starting four right there. Um, you know four out of five and they could start four eyes because i think he's a guard right so they could do that that could be a starting five right here. i think they would do well um you know it's not the first time that first years would start and i think that coach anzai is going to make the right decision but anyways like the video comments i'm out peace